two hours into the day. Yeah, We're on our way to Darwin. And, uh, what do call it? Breakfast for breakfast. Darwin, that way. Yeah. Darwin to the left. They, um, it's an easy solution to it. It's day 17. We're on our way to Darwin. About a 222 ish kilometer ride today. Now, we've got up early today. Um, instead of setting off at a normal time of 5 a.m., we left at 4 a.m. because we want to, one, beat the heat of the day. It gets very, very hot as we experienced yesterday and it's supposed to be warmer today. And two, because we want to get to the hotel. So I've been looking after all the accommodation and I've booked a nice hotel for everyone tonight uh, because Darwin is a huge milestone of this trip. And it'll just be good to relax uh, for at least a night before getting back on the road again tomorrow. Plus we also need to get uh, a lot of bits for the bikes, get the van serviced uh, and a few other errands, toiletries, food, supplies. So we've had a small stop and we are back on the road. I think it was about 20 minute stop. A little bit of uh, banana and raisin bread some berries and back on the road. Now I had to distance myself a little bit from the conversation that Ben and his parents were having. Uh, it was a nice conversation, but it was a lot of talk about numbers uh, and the amount of week, uh, weeks and days that are still ahead, which I'm trying to avoid thinking about as much as possible. <laughs> 40 kilometers outside of Darwin and it's now decided to jump up to 36 degrees. It is hot! Hot, hot, hot! So we've taken a slight detour down a cycle path because we're not allowed on the A1 highway anymore. A couple of signs saying that there's no cyclists allowed. So we've been rerouted onto this cycle path. Long time since I've been on a cycle path, so it's a little bit surreal. A little bit different to the cycle paths in Sydney as well. So we're both feeling extremely tired on the start of day 19. You know, kind of a active recovery yesterday. Very, very short day on the bike. And uh, yeah, definitely feeling it. We tried to get some good sleep the night before. And yesterday was kind of a bit of a lazy day because of the van. And it feels like our bodies have to kind of shut down and uh, yeah, definitely switched off from this challenge. So we're trying to wake ourselves up. Hopefully it will happen today, if not over the next couple of days, and we'll get back into the swing of cycling nearly 300 kilometers every day. So during this trip, we found out that there's a lot more towns that we fought in between 
they're just not advertised because they don't have websites um, for accommodation um, but we end up stumbling across some rest areas or roadhouses along the way so we're hoping that's going to happen again en route to Broome I'm not sure if you could see that on camera, but that was hundreds of cows and three cowboys. Crazy what time off the bike does to your body. Full shut down. And now I'm trying to restart it again, which is feeling impossible. My legs have come back to life, but the rest of my body, my mind's falling asleep. He's my first customer. <laughs> Would you like to introduce yourself? <coughs> I'm Laura, I'm physio. <laughs> I'll have a nap there if you want. <laughs> Just let me know if it's... Too much or not enough? No. How are you feeling? <laughs> yeah, good. I didn't realise I was in this much pain, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't realise I was this sore. Apparently I am. Are you more sore in there? Uh, no, Still I was there. when you went, you went a little bit higher and I was like, Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Why does it feel tighter? Yeah, whereas Jay was very much more. Uh, where about you? Uh, we have a support vehicle. That's oh, okay. Yeah, so you're obviously. Time. What are you doing this it's for? It's all for mental health. Mental health um, awareness. Yeah. So we're. Um, oh, good for you then. Yeah. Good. Good. That's a good pause. Is it just the two of you? Or? Yeah, just yeah. the two of us riding. That, my friend, is a sleeping cow. It's huge! <laughs> oh yeah, okay, right, yeah, that, that's definitely broken. I didn't see that, yeah. <laughs> Not supposed to be like that. Oh, poor thing. To be fair, that would do a lot of damage to Roche. How much yeah. do you reckon that will weigh? Australia. There's me talking about no animals. so hot even the air is so thick never experienced heat like this I keep expecting to see lions and tigers out here is that hot? they really wouldn't be out of place here would they? Another dead cow. Actually, a bull. A pedestrian's walking sign. What pedestrians are possibly going to be walking out here? Ground crew out here somewhere? Hey? Your ground crew is here somewhere? Ground crew's already up there, yeah. Oh. I haven't had their early ice cream. <laughs> oh. 
Now this this actually feels like real Australia. This has been the best day of riding, I think, in terms of like scenery and the actual ride itself. Yeah. 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 How are you feeling about the heat? Sap it. It's It's the first time all day that the sun has been hidden by clouds. Cycling in 36 degrees is not fun. Completely drains all the energy out of your body. We've been averaging 22 kilometers an hour for the last two, maybe three hours. Terrible speed. Um, so the plan is we're about 25 k's away from Timber Creek. We're going to have dinner and then we're going to do an extra 30 kilometers out of Timber Creek just to reduce tomorrow. And we're going to continue to do that. Uh, until we get to that last day going to Broome so that we can reduce that day from 360 down to hopefully 300.